All right, South Doyle's headed over. We got Coach Duncan headed over. Hey, Coach. How are you? I'm good. Hey, good, good, good. Come on in here. All right, Diamond Clear Media coverage of Media Day. We got South Doyle here, uh, Coach Clark Duncan. Uh, yeah, come on in here, guys. Who have we brought with us here today? Michael Redding, Tonk Whiz Ball, uh, uh, starting uh, offensive tackle, three-year starter for us, Tonk Whiz, uh, um, slot receiver, corner. Um, this was selected uh, uh, preseason All-State, um, one of the top receivers in the, in the area, right. second in the state in shot put. So proud of this wow. young man right here. Just worked extremely hard. And, it looks, it yeah. looks Yeah, fun. yeah. <laughs> we expect him to win it next year. That's, that's a big task. The guy Bearden is really good, but uh, B. Michael might, might be able to get it done. All right, great. Well, uh, I don't want to say you came out of nowhere last year, but, you, I mean, definitely the momentum that you were building was just something to behold. Tell me, how have we carried that kind of into the off season to kind of push the Cherokees to that next level? Well, I think the biggest thing is that we have so many kids back that experienced the the the, the ups and the downs and, and, and seeing that if you can fight through adversity and um, – and, and, and still come out and win. Um, you know, I think our kids believe they can win now, you know, and they, they, they come into the weight program this winter and just wore it out. I mean, we've gotten so much stronger uh, with so many kids back with experience. And, you know, if you got experience, you know, experience is the number one key. If you, if you, you know, I, I'll take experience over uh, talent any day, uh, although we like the talent. I like uh, talent, too. Yeah, I do, too. But, but <laughs> on top, you know, so I think we've got both. You know, we've, yeah. got, we've got a lot of talent with, uh, with a lot of experience, and, and we've got a lot of depth, too. That's, that's something that you don't find in, in, at the high school level a lot. And, and um, we've managed to, to really work hard on our depth, and um, uh, they believe that they can win, and so we're going to go into the off season or the preseason, and which is here now, and uh, carry over what we did in the off season, and see if we can't uh, make a run at this. Yeah. So uh, obviously Caleb moving on. Uh, t- t- what's how will we look different this year? I know you're going to match the scheme a little bit to the personnel right. always year right. after year. What will the either the offense or the defense will there be much of a difference, and, and what will those differences be? You know, defensively will be the same look uh, with a three four. But offensively we will look the same. Uh, we do have t- uh, two quarterbacks that are that are battling right now, uh, Mason Brang and, and uh, AJ Nunn, and, and both of them are very talented young men. Uh, you know, we're going to expect them just to continue doing what, what Caleb did. You know, we the, the bottom line is we got playmakers around them. Get them the football. Don't don't make mistakes. Don't don't they don't have to make big plays. You know, just just distribute the ball. Um, be smart about what they're doing. And then uh, as they get older and gain more experience, then then we'll just get that much better. Great. Well, the uh, with. Uh I guess we boy, we put three into the next level, right? It was Jake, Kente, and Caleb, or any, Greg, anybody else Greg. that played some, is going to play some college. Or no, those are the okay. only three that are playing. Have we got this. some people that might have a chance in 2018 to uh, pursue a- it at the a- next level. A- absolutely, you know, we we feel like we've got several kids. Uh, you know, we got two inside linebackers that are three-year starters for us, and. Uh, um, Bradley Sisler and Wes Holt, uh, we think they've got a, a, a great chance at, at playing at the next level. Um, we got several. Shondre Scott has already uh, been offered by a couple of schools. Um, uh, Gus McAnally, receiver. Um, guys, help me. I, I mean, we just, we've got so many guys that, uh, you know, we've got uh, uh, five offensive linemen that I think can play at the next level, being Michael, being one of them. Uh, um, so I think I think when it's all said and done, we're going to have – I think we'll probably have four or five guys that will actually be playing at the next level after this season. All right, great. Well, uh, thanks for letting us be around to be a part of it. And I know Nathaniel's looking in, uh, a lot forward to, to calling the games again and uh, look, looking forward to uh, seeing what we can do. It may, it may be a little bit more of a – a, uh, a, a, a sustained uh, right. instead of the kind of yeah, the ups well, you and downs. know, and I'll tell you this, and this, you know, we, last year early in the season, uh, well, actually mid-season, we we uh, we had about five starters to gain injury, and that that was a, but probably the best thing that ever happened to us because you know we looked at it and we said you know if we can get those guys back and get them healthy, uh, we could make a run at it. Week ten, we got healthy, and and I think it made them a little more hungry too. And uh, so they, they saw that they could win, and, and, and uh, we got those guys healthy. And um, so hopefully, yeah, we, we'll stay healthy, right. uh, sustain some uh, um, 
some positive things and, uh, and great things will happen to us. Yeah, great. Well, Coach, thanks again for having us, first of all, and uh, just look forward to promoting uh, the Cherokees and uh, seeing where we go with it uh, and make another nice push. You, you guys are great, man. We, lo we love your, your tweets and, and all that you do, and, and it's, uh, uh, you know, we've got people in California and Florida that every night, every Friday night, tune in to, to you guys, and that's huge. You know, when I, we covered the graduations, uh, if you remember, and I was stopped on the way in to the South Doyle graduation by someone who said, hey, I'm from California, my nephew, uh, you know, and so that, that just totally made my day. Yeah. So uh, we love, you know, th this is uh, such a blessing to get to yeah. do this every week, and I uh, appreciate you letting us uh, be you. a part of it. Thank you. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks. All right that's Coach Clark Duncan with South